so my dear students again we back that the today's class so what is that the class the class is that the nulling register of miller compensation technique we already see that what is nulling register that register is connected in that the series with that the compensation capacitor now why you use the nulling register basically this nulling register as used to shift that the right up pole right up plane zero to accomplish that the left up pole zero and it will be placed in that the highest non dominant pole to accomplish this or to modify this we have placed one nulling register in addition with that the compensation capacitor basically this is that the topic nulling register compensation capacitor is not at all in your syllabus but it is also one of that the technique of compensation method so that's why it is one a small topic how the the nulling register and nulling register value are defined so we are go through this value and nulling register miller compensation capacitor so let we go through this and do we see that how that this nulling register are working you to modify the right up pull zero to left up pull zero so it is occur that it is likely undesired right up pull zero may not be negligible in the above design procedure that means the design procedure of opam this should occur if the gain bandwidth specification was large or if the output stage transconductance that means the gm6 that means the second stage is not very large in this case is becomes necessary to employ the nulling register compensation method basically this technique is used where the right up pole or right up plane zero can be moved to the left up plane and placed on the highest non dominant pole to modify this or to accomplish this a register is placed in series with the compensation with the compensation capacitor with the compensation capacitor so what is that we see that this is that the figure of non dominant compensation scheme use the transistor m8 so this is that one m8 transistor is there and through this m8 transistor one compensation capacitor is attached here with so this transistor is control this transistor m8 is control the control voltage vc that adjust the register so that it maintain the value of a proper value over the process variation with the addition of this register in the compensation scheme the resulting poles and zeros are modified so this is the pole 1 it is modified to gm1 by the overall gain of that the cmos that opam a multiply of that the compensation register so this is that so due to that the register addition of this nulling register with compensation capacitor in compensation scheme the resulting poles and zeros are modified so what is that this is that the pole 1 that is minus of gm1 by that the gain this is pole 2 minus gm6 by load capacitance this one pole 4 minus 1 by rz into c1 and this is that the zero or this is called the 
right half plane zero. That will be minus one by R Z C C minus C C by G M six. Now here the gain or the A V overall gain of that the op amp is equal to G M one into G M six R one R two. In order to place the zero on the top of pole two, this is that the re relationship is required for that the nulling register. So this nulling register value is equal to one CC plus CL by CC into under root of under root two KP dash into A six. That means I six. A six means aspect ratio of M six transistor. To the the current of M six transistor. So this is that the nulling register value is required if we require to place that the zero on that the second pole. So this is that the relationship must require for the zero on the top of second pole. Now the register R Z or the the nulling register. Is realized by the transistor M8, which is operated in that the active region. Because in that active region, the DC current through that M8 transistor is zero. So we can write down the nulling register value is equal to rate of change of drain to source voltage to that the rate of change of drain current for M8 when that. Drain to source voltage of M8 is equal to zero. So R Z can be modified that one by K dash P into S8 V G S8 minus V T P. So this is that the bias circuit. So that the V A is equal to V B. As a result, so what is that the V A and V B? So you see that. Here, that is that the two voltage are there. One is V A voltage, one is V B voltage. That means one is inverting voltage, one is non-inverting voltage. So this is that the bias circuit relationship to measure this nulling register value. And this equation in that the saturation region, this equation becomes that this equation. That means V G S minus V T is equal to V G S minus V T here for M A ten transistor here for M A eight transistor. So substituting the values or substituting these into equation twenty eight, we can got that the nulling register value is equal to one by S eight into under root of S ten by Two K P dash into I ten. So for this equation, equating six uh, that the from equation twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, and thirty one, equating all these equations, we can get the aspect ratio for M eight transistor is equal to C C by C L plus C C into under root of S10 into S6 I6 by I10. So this is that follows. If this equation is follows, then the is illustrated the design of this compensation scheme. So we are trying to cancel a pole with a zero. So the key relationship is given in the equation 26 where R Z. Is cancelling one by G M six. Now the G M six cancelling one by R Z. Then the answer is clear. So we always told that nulling register not cancel the overall gain of output stage, but we can told that the output stage overall gain cancel the nulling register. So the forms of small signal analysis. Transconductance for output stage transistor G M six is equal to K P dash into W six by L six V G S six minus V T P. So we see that this is that one by R Z 
as exactly in that the same form. So as long as we keep M6, M8 and M10 are the same type of transistor, the temperature and process tracking should be good and one could replace the transistor by a MOS diode and also achieve good temperature and process tracking. So this is the, the nulling register of Miller compensation technique. So that Miller compensation nulling register we are assured that there will be we are use the nulling register with addition of that in series with the compensation capacitor to make that right up plane zero to left up plane zero and it will be non dominant pole by the use of nulling register and another one thing that whatever the, the circuit are shown in nigar whatever the circuit shown in nigar that all this transistor that is m6 m8 and m10 transistor these three transistor should be same type of transistor then only it is the temperature and the process tracking should be good so this is the end of nulling register and the the why you use that the nulling register that is now it will be clear and another one thing that will be we not told that nulling register is control the overall cancelling the overall transconductance of this m6 transistor but rather than this we can tell that the overall transconductance is can cancelling that the 1 by rz is can cancel that the nulling register so you keep in that all this in view we can conclude that that all that the transistor should be operated in that the saturation region and these three transistor m8 m6 and m10 should be in same types of transistor so this is the end of nulling register and in that the next class we are going with that the power supply rejection ratio thank you thank you thank you